السلام علیکم کھیلوں کی خبروں پر تبصروں اور تذریعوں سے جس کو اور کے ایک اور پروگرام کے ساتھ سید یائے حسینی آپ کی خدمت میں حاضر ہے کرکٹ پاکستان کا قومی کھیل نہیں لیکن لوگوں کے ایموشنز اس کھیل کے ساتھ اٹیچ ہیں پاکستان میں حالات جیسے بھی ہوں پاکستان کرکٹ ٹیم کہیں میچ کھیلے کامیابی حاصل کرے تو لوگوں کے چہروں پر خوشیاں بکھر جاتی ہیں پاکستان کرکٹ کے لیے افسوسناک صورتحال کے ہمارے کرکٹرز ہوم سیریز بھی تیسرے ملک جا کر کھیل رہے ہیں لیکن خراب حالات ہمیشہ نہیں رہتے اور اچھے دن بھی جد لوٹ آئیں گے اور اسی امید کے ساتھ ہم پاکستان کرکٹ کے لیے اچھا سوچتے ہیں پاکستان کرکٹ بورٹ کے سربراہ چودری زکا اشرف نے پاکستان کرکٹ کو بین الاقوامی تقاضوں سے ہم آہنگ کرنے کے لیے آسٹیلیا کے سابق ٹیسٹ کرکٹر اور کالیفائیڈ کوچ دیو واٹ مور کی خدمات حاصل کی اور ان کے ساتھ جولین فونٹین ایز اے فیلڈنگ کوچ پاکستان کرکٹ ٹیم کے ساتھ ان دنوں کام کر رہے ہیں دس از دا فرسٹ ٹائم دیٹ دی کوچ آف پاکستان کرکٹ ٹیم دیو واٹ مور اینڈ فیلڈنگ کوچ جولین فونٹین آر میکنگ اے ٹی وی اپیئرنس فرسٹ آف آل آئی وانٹ ٹو ویلکم یو اینڈ اٹس اے پلیزر Uh, that you are uh, sitting with us. Dev, uh, tell me about your experience with the Pakistan cricket team, especially Asia Cup uh, cricket tournament 2012, uh, match against India. Yeah, well, most of my experience has been as an um, opposition coach, I guess, um, plotting to, to beat Pakistan. Um, but now uh, it's totally changed. And uh, I'm very pleased to be involved with uh, the Pakistan Cricket Board in, uh, in taking their cricket further and, and, and having, them to play, having them play as a, uh, a unit that is going to be as competitive as possible in all three different formats of the game. Uh, our first um, um, experience with the team, of course, has been a recent Asia Cup where it was a successful uh, tournament for us. Unfortunately, we weren't, we, we weren't able to win every game, um, but we played four, won three, and came, uh, and came home with, with the cup. So that, from, what, uh, from that perspective, it was a very enjoyable two and a half weeks with the team. Dev, you worked as a coach in Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, and in IPL, you coached Kolkata Knight Rider. What is the difference? Uh, well, the, the Knight Riders uh, is a specific T20 tournament that starts and finishes over a six-week period. Um, the Bangladesh experience was very much uh, an international team that, that plays in, in series, just like Sri Lanka. Um, and also, like this current position of mine, it's, it's an ongoing thing. Series come, series go. There's no start, there's no finish. Um, it's a continuum. And uh, you're tested a lot more as a coach, um, whereas the IPL experience was, uh, you know, was only a six-week period in a 12-month year. This one, of course, goes on much longer. Mostly you worked uh, with the Asian cricket team. Uh, what is the reason? Reasons? Yeah. Oh, well, it's just the way it worked out, I guess. I, I mean, I'm, I'm very comfortable in this region, um, having been born in Sri Lanka, been brought up as a as a subcontinent child I guess even though you migrate as a, as a youngster you still get brought up under those same rules um, so it was good in a way to to experience uh, another culture in terms of uh, learning uh, being educated in Australia learning your cricket in Australia playing for Australia and then applying all those factors uh, from a cultural perspective, in terms of where I came from, it's been a good, it's been uh, it's been good for me anyway to be able to work with younger players and uh, and cricketers in the region. Dev, let's talk about the 1996 Cricket World Cup. Uh, your memory must be fresh. Uh, what were the experience? What were the feelings? Well, it's great feeling. I mean, um, yeah, it was a tournament that everyone watches. It kind of comes every four years. Um, and at the start of the tournament, I have to say that I didn't think the Sri Lankan team was going to win it. It wasn't until uh, we beat India in the league game that I thought we're going to we're going to have a, a real go at this, and, and if we don't win it, we'll shape it. Um, so from then on, it was a different different ball game in my in my eyes. 
Uh, and to play the final in, in Gaddafi Stadium and a packed house with, uh, with the local support for us was also an experience which is very hard to forget. How is your relationship with the selection committee? Very good, very good. We've only been uh, with them for uh, three to four weeks now, but um, the communication has been wonderful. Um, and there's no reason to think that it won't grow and get stronger. Uh, Dev, tell me as a cricketer and as a coach, uh, you are different uh, from the other Australian like uh, Stuart Law working with the Bangladesh cricket team, Jeff Marge, ex Sri Lankan coach, Tom Modi, another Australian. And Jeff Lawson too, who yeah. is it? Oh well, yeah, I guess people are different, uh, not everyone's the same. Um, but for the reasons I outlined earlier, you know, I feel a lot more comfortable in this environment um, and I'm very pleased to be here. But the talent is there and how many people have told me, how many people have told you that in, the, in this country you know, there, are, there is endless uh, amounts of talent. How is the experience so far? with the Pakistan cricket team? Good. The boys have uh, embraced me and, and Julian uh, very well. Uh, they've shown a lot of respect as well and uh, we've managed to create an environment where uh, they are looking to improve, they are more relaxed um, and basically in, in, a, in a position to, to go out there and give, give their best. Um, so from that short sort of period of time that we've been with them, it's, it's been good. But, you know, there's sterner tests ahead. There's a lot more harder uh, competitions looming. Uh, we will enter those with both eyes open and, and try and prepare as best as we possibly can to give us the, the result that we all want. And uh, what is your opinion about Pakistan cricket, especially after watching domestic cricket in Pindi? Yeah, well, we've had the opportunity to watch uh, the T20, the Premier, T20 tournament, the Super 8s, and uh, it's good. I mean, we, we are very keen to embrace Pakistan. No point uh, just coming and going, uh, you know, in, with, with the national team. I think it's very important if you're going to take on a position uh, to really get to know levels below um, the national team. And the more time you spend, the more time you have to shape uh, and improve players because very difficult to do that in competition. The time you really need to work on them is outside of competition. So, you know, as I said, we're very happy to be here. We want to embrace the culture. We want to embrace uh, the players um, and the, the public in every, every corner of Pakistan if possible. Um, and it's been a very good experience so far. Is that true? Pakistani cricketers uh, are physically and mentally weak? No. Physically, they're very good. They're very strong. Uh, it's, it makes a welcome change to see uh, a group of fast bowlers big, because that's what they're supposed to be, big and strong. Mentally weak? No. I think uh, you know, this mental uh, weakness, which has been directed at not just Pakistan, but I think it's subcontinent in, in, in the whole, more or less refers to when they play away, I think. You know, and, um, you know, the Pakistan team really hasn't had a home game. So their performances in recent times have been, you know, very commendable. Apart from that, the second half of the, uh, the England series, it's been really good. So uh, I don't think the, the short answer is no. Dev, sorry to say, in uh, public your image is that uh, you are arrogant and reserved. Is that true? <laughs> Um, I don't think so. People who know me will tell you that, uh, that they have a laugh. You know, I love having a laugh. But unfortunately, sometimes you don't know when cameras are on you and I'm, I'm very keen to, uh, you know, to focus and, and, and concentrate on what I'm doing. But really, it, it is in total contrast to what, what a lot of people think I am. You can ask Julian later. What is your first target uh, as a coach of Pakistan cricket team? The target is always to be, you know, is always to win. There's no question. I mean, uh, no matter what, what series or what competition you're playing, you need to win. Having said that, of course, you know, to, to achieve that, you can never achieve it by saying we have to win, we have to win, we have to win. 
it is very heavy on the shoulders, very heavy on the mind when you solely focus on that. As, you, as we all know, to win, there are a number of things that you need to do well that will give you that, um, that achievement. So that is the area that we need to, to focus on. And what are the challenges you are facing right now? Oh, look, it's still early days. I mean, I don't think there's any challenges at the moment, you know. The challenges uh, that will come ahead, I'm sure, from time to time, it'll, uh, there will always be areas that we need to work on. Um, but for now, uh, it's, it's a great time for, for new coaches to come and work with a terrific um, selection panel. Uh, all the people in this country have uh, welcomed us very well. I'm watching some good cricket. Uh, there's... Things are going really well, but it will get tougher later. Dave, is this true that you have full support of Pakistan Cricket Board Chairman Chaudhry Zakashraf? Yes. Dave, are you angry with Pakistani media? I have to say, well, no. The short answer is no, but then, like most other uh, places that you visit, there are a number of, a number of articles I read leading up to my appointment just not true. You know, a lot of it was prefabricated. Um, I had never given any, any comments myself and I'm very interested to read a lot of stuff which is, to be very honest, for whatever reason, you know, well-intentioned or not, is not true. Are you in favour of uh, three different teams? Um, I'm in favour of, uh, of, of picking the right group of players um, for, the, for, for different formats. If there are certain players who are naturally um, suited to a particular game, then I'm, I'm in favour of that. But to try and mould a player, in, or having, uh, to, to try and ask a player to do something which he's not naturally um, suited to do, then I think that's unfair. Dev, in your opinion, what is the strength of Pakistan cricket team? Look, I think they've got an all-round strength. I mean, people... Uh, tell me before I came here that they got a good bowling attack and that, that, that the bowling attack is, um, you know, has been responsible for a lot of ODIs and I can see that. I'll look at the personnel and the batting within our team and I, th and I see terrific talent. Uh, if they, some of them have been underperforming then uh, it is our job to ensure that that's turned around. But the talent is there and how many people have told me, how many people have told you that in, the, in this country, you know, there, are, there is endless uh, amounts of talent. And, you know, whatever boys that we get, we are keen to, for them to realise it. Uh, Dave, frankly speaking, uh, most of the Pakistani players are in mid-30, like Mesbaul Haq, uh, Yunus Khan, Saeed Ajmal and others. Mm. That's a fact, yeah. It's a good thing that they're fit when they play. People, uh, those players are, are performing uh, and they're fit. And uh, if, as long as they're doing those things, then the team should be competitive and we win. Yes, but we need to keep a close eye on, on replacements in the future. And uh, this is where you play your A-team cricket to, to prepare these boys. What are your plans to upcoming cricketers? Yeah, well, we, uh, there will be a number of them identified. Um, the selectors know who they are. Um, and, uh, you know, over time, there will be... Uh, there will be some recognition of that young talent with the potential to come up eventually and, and represent the country um, <coughs> through some A-team cricket or some representative cricket. The best and most energetic, well that's tough because we've got a few but uh, you know, I mean the obvious standout is Eunice Khan. Julian, now it's your turn. Uh... Uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, you have worked uh, before with the Pakistan uh, cricket team uh, uh, for a short while. Yep. Uh, my first affiliation to Pakistan was in 2001 when I worked with the A-team and I assisted Mudassa Nazar um, on an A-team Sri Lanka tour and we came back to Pakistan and I did a tour of the country going to all the regional academies, the national academy um, and I had a very quick stint with the senior team just during a camp. Uh, Julian, uh, you are fit, uh, but how will you make the team fit? Well, uh, <laughs> my role is actually as, as a fielding coach, so I'm, I'm looking primarily at their fielding skills. 
Um, fitness is obviously someone else's department, that's strength and conditioning. Um, where the speed and agility and endurance relate to my department, I will certainly be looking to follow that fairly closely. Uh, Julian, uh, is that true? You have a thankless job uh, of uh, fielding coach of Pakistan cricket team. Um, I don't see it as thankless, to be honest. I see it as a, as a challenging job, but no more or less challenging than any of the other teams which I've been involved with. Um, as you know, Dav has said, there's an abundance of talent here. So, you know, it's working with elite players and ensuring that they are at the top of their game when they need to be. What is the main problem of uh, Pakistan cricket team? Uh, I mean in fielding. Um, <laughs> the main problem... You're putting words in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, to be fair, I, you know, the, our team, our Pakistan team, faces the same challenges that any professional or international team faces, making sure you know, we catch the ball when we need to, that we feel the ball cleanly, we throw accurately. So it's, it's no different. The challenges are no different. No, I was just going to say, add to what Julian said, that even I fell for the trap sometimes, fall for the trap sometimes of looking at a player and saying, oh, geez, he's not a good fielder, but he actually executes his skills very well. Like he receives the ball, he transfers it into a throw, and it goes accurately. But what he hasn't done is perhaps get to the ball quicker enough. So it's easy for people to misunderstand the difference between executing a skill and uh, being able to be a little bit more fitter and agile to get to that ball quicker in order to execute the skill. And what is the time frame uh, you have uh, given yourself to improve Pakistani fielding? Um, <laughs> it's an ongoing process. You know, we have our targets, you know, over the next six months, 12 months, 18 months. You know, we've got some big competitions coming up. So, you know, we will be, it will be an ongoing process. Each of the players will get personal plans from me to make sure that they are improving in the areas they need to improve on. You know, we'll be setting team goals that we need to achieve. Um, yeah, it's, it's an ongoing process. Frankly speaking, uh, who is the best and energetic fielder in the Pakistan cricket team? The best and most energetic? Well, that's tough because we've got a few, but, uh, you know, I mean, the obvious standout is Yunus Khan. And who is the worst? Pass. Thank you very much, Dave Watmore. Jeez. Thank you very much, uh, Julian Fontaine. Pakistan cricket team ke fielding coach, Pakistan cricket team ke coach Dave Watmore ki guftugu aapne suni. Aur ye Pakistan uh, ke history mein pehla mokha tha. Aur Geo News ki screen par aapne Pakistan cricket team ke coach Dave Watmore aur Julian Fontaine ko kya Pakistan cricket ke baare mein sochte hain. Pakistan cricket ko kis tarah dekhte hain aur Pakistan cricket ko kis tarah mazboot kar sakte hain. Aapne in dono ki zabani suna. Facebook पर आप विजिट कर सकते हैं हमारा पेज स्कोर डॉट जियो न्यूज और अगर आप हमें ईमेल करना चाहते हैं स्कोर डॉट स्कोर एट जियो डॉट टीवी सैयद आयोसैनी को स्कोर की पूरी टीम के साथ इजाजत दीजिए अल्लाह हाफ